Hey guys, Dave and Bex here from Air Fire Walking the Stones. Uh, we're here to do a spoiler version of the book, book review of The Girl on the Train. If you joined us from the spoiler free um, video that's also on our channel right now, uh, this is the version where we will be spoiling the book and probably in a way a good way for discussing the book a little bit deeper and more thorough and we decided to do two videos not to, to ruin it for anyone that still is still reading or is going to read the book or even watch the film even though I did say the reading book would be better to read the book before watch the book. Mm -hmm. We didn't want it to be really didn't want it to be really long either. Because it would be no. like a 40 minute video. <laughs> yeah. So, cut a long story short, we'll go down the plot first. So, it's all about a drunken alcoholic called Rachel. She is on a, she does the same train journey every day to work, work, um, to the job she does not have anymore. Mm -hmm. Hence, her being an alcoholic, because she lost her job due to being drunk. And she stops at signal every single day, observes if per, uh, the the perfect couple um, outside their back garden and then one day she sees the lady of the house uh, which is Megan uh, with another man and then further down the line her body is found in the ditch so it takes uh, Rachel takes it upon herself to inform the police and go that little step further and try and help out and from here on we're going to discuss things that we have read she kind of oversteps the mark Oh, yeah. Like, if she wasn't there, the whole, th the whole story like wouldn't have been solved. Exactly. But there's points where you're just like, oh, just keep your fucking nose out. <laughs> so, before we go any further, as we've said many, many times, because we like to make sure people are aware of this, there is a big, massive spoiler alert going on the screen right now. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we will go ahead. Okay, we're going ahead right now. To discuss what we thought. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so I think we should go straight to the point. What do you think about the killer? Oh my god! Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You at first, I didn't. I didn't really like. You clicked straight away, didn't you? I didn't click straight away. Oh. I'll have this noted. I. It was one of them things you know where you read something and you go, oh, it could be them, but then you think no. You're thinking, this is too early on, it can't be, that's a bit silly. And you think, no, it will twist it, and you'll think, oh, it is them, but it's not them, it's someone else. But then the more you thought about it, the more it kind of made sense. Mm -hmm. And then when it was, I was it still sh kind of shocked me, that was the cool thing. It still got me, where I'm like, oh, it was it. <laughs> I know, I was, yeah. when I was reading it, I was like, oh, no, what if he's, like, disappointed? Like, like, I was, like, expecting to get a message from you saying, oh, well, Well, I wasn't it. that great, <laughs> yes. Meh. Nah. Yeah. But it was how she, the author herself, it was how she actually dr draws you away because it's already like Tom has already had an affair before with his, the, with his new wife. His, his new, new wife. wife, yeah. Because, but this way, guys, Rachel, Rachel's ex, is Tom, who is the killer of Megan. Tom had an affair with Anna, who he's married to and has a little girl called Evie. So you think to yourself, you know, he's had a few affairs, or maybe he wasn't happy in this relationship, which he does display, and you kind of understand the situation, so he goes and goes off. Um, he did it in the wrong way though. Did it the wrong way. And marries, goes off, marries another girl, has a family, and you know, and you think, oh well, you know, she's an alcoholic, she's probably troubled. And then you don't. It doesn't really. You don't really think that he would do it again. Yeah, but that's what stops you thinking that. I think they always say like, once a cheat, always a cheat. Yeah. And it's true. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, it's probably that you know that bit I was on about in the first video. Mm. Where it's like Tom stand behind them. It's just. Like, yeah. So oh, if you're reading it's, it's this. Quite scary. Like, yeah. So if you're reading this, you've read it, or you want to discuss it and see how we feel as well as how you feel, this scene is where what Bex is on about is Rachel turns up in the back garden of Anna and Tom's house. Anna is outside and she's already discovered a mobile phone, a secret mobile phone, that 
she's never seen before and the voice on it is Megan's mm. and she starts to click but she's one of these women that's in denial so she doesn't actually actually want no. to believe it because when she first finds it she's like oh it's got no battery thank god yeah <laughs> no battery it's fine so she like, your husband's got a secret phone mm. it's like ridiculous <laughs> but she's a bit she's tapped isn't she I hate the woman. She is, yeah. I hate it, even but though I didn't even have really much sympathy at the end either for her, because I really wanted to slap her. I did a bit. She did. I mean, like she's going to be a single in. mom now. Yeah, but not just that. She was just a pain in the ass. <laughs> too, too over the top, upset I think she all was the time. Too young. You think? Yeah, I think she was like forced into motherhood like at a really young age. Because mm. it doesn't really stay way as she is, does it? Mm. So yes. Um, and their pair are talking and Rachel's trying to convince Anna to get out with the, with the child and she won't go and obviously Tom is out somewhere or is he anymore and this is the that sent chills down the spine when he turns up he's just the way that behind the pat in the patio it's it's just, the patio doors, isn't it? just a build up it's like, oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I know, it's like, run, run, please run. <laughs> please survive. Yeah, please survive, run away. Like, he was brutal after that, wasn't it? He was very, he was, he, he was. He wouldn't let go of the baby. He's, um, in my opinion, it, 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 it's sort of a, a down a psychopathic route. Mm. Those people who murder and kill, but they act like it was an everydayer. So they're like, yeah. you know, they bludgeon you around their head. And then two minutes later, they'd be sat having a laugh and a joke with you. Around the table mm. with a cup of tea, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? I don't know, it's gone. It's gone, it'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, see, um, it's gone now for me. So, what did you think about Megan and her death? And her death? Because it's obviously a lot darker than just a s uh, smack round the head with a stone. Excuse the pun. <laughs> I don't know, like, everything I kept reading about and what she went through in her past. And then, because, like, when she was younger, she got pregnant again. And she obviously gives birth. And then she kind of is really, really irresponsible. Gets in a bath, or was it a shower? No, she gets in the she gets in the bath with the baby. And the baby's just on her chest. She has drink. Does she? Yeah, yeah. She also, if you read, she actually has a couple of. I don't know what it. I can't remember what it is. I don't know if it's vodka or something. But she does actually drink. Hence why she falls asleep in the bathtub. And you'll probably know where this is going because when I was reading it, it's lump in the throat sort of thing. It made me sort of like, I don't want to read any further. And I know, it's probably like cradling my stomach. I was like, yeah. oh God. So, That's you know, and I know for a fact that that has happened in real life. How could you be so I've, kno I've known that's happened in real life where a lady went to answer the phone. So she heard the phone go and instead of ignoring it, she went for two minutes to get her phone and the baby just flopped down because he has no, you know, has no balance. He flopped down, face first into the water, has no strength to get up and drown. Yeah, it does happen, and this, that's what got me because it reminded me of that story I heard a long time ago. No one I knew, obviously, but somewhere I read. But, oof, terrifying, <laughs> horrible. And then later on down the line, you find out she was pregnant again, and Tom kills her because he can't. He wants. Also, the fact that it doesn't, before he even gets there, he says, abort it. Yeah. That's. You know, you think, God, Fleming hell, mate, calm down. You know, you just just abort it. I don't want it. Abort it. And then he smacks her around the head with a stone oh, yeah. and says, look what you made me do. And then she dies and she's pregnant. I mean, oh. It's like, oh, what's it? It's called? disturbing. It's disturbing. It's like everything that he does, he justifies. He says, oh, you made me do it. Yeah, he like, won't. He won't take it. He like, won't admit it. Like with Rachel. Oh, you're an alcoholic, so I cheated on you. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's alcoholic. Even though there's a little hint there that that Anna starts turning into yeah. Rachel. 
That's an interesting fact. And also the fact that Rachel couldn't have a baby. Hence why she started drinking. See? <laughs> She's trying for a baby. And she... Yeah. I was gonna say something, but no, it's gone. It's gone again. She's not doing very well. She hasn't been very well, actually. Hence why we've had like a week off filming. <laughs> Better. <laughs> okay, so Scott. He was. You don't really get to know him that well. Like, you get to know him, but he's very in the background, even though he's Megan's. Former uh, husband. Yeah. But he's this. It kind of confuses me because Rachel turns like Rachel turns into like um, no Rachel has the same morals as Tom in the sense that she sleeps with she sleeps with Scott yeah and it's the fact that you know his wife has literally just been found in the back you've been talking to him for what a couple of days and then Scott um, he he's he's not as heavy as a heavy drinker as um, Meg, as Me, as Rachel, but he's starting to get there, isn't he? He's like he keeps encouraging her, like when she goes round. Yes. He's like, oh, do you want a beer or do you want some wine? And she's like, no, I've got to stay up it. Got to keep a clear head. It's like there's a little message in there about alcohol. Hmm. I don't think there is. I don't think it's intended to be in there, but everyone turns to alcohol at some point. Every single character. And near enough every single character has at least something alcoholic. Scott, Rachel, Megan, uh, Anna, Tom. They all swear they all have a beverage at least once. Mm. So, yeah. I think, mm, I think that's why I struggled with it. Yes. A little bit. Yes. Obviously reasons mm. that many can't talk about, but it affects Bex a lot more because of the situation she's been through. Not her, per se, you know, not her. But experiences in the past with other people in her life. Yeah. So she, it's more, it's, so yeah, if, if you're like Bex and you struggle with the back, like. If you have someone that hmm. is a heavy drinker. <laughs> there goes a Funko. <laughs> okay. So yeah, if you have somebody in your family that is a heavy drinker or you have a friend, this book can get hard in sometimes because you you know how the other people the other person feels like when you see a drunk person. Mm. So guys, that is our spoiler review of *The Girl on the Train* by Paula Hawkins, and basically, I, like I know, sorry. Okay. So guys, that is our spoiler review of *The Girl on the Train*. Uh, if you have read it and you'd like to discuss it, either pop over to our Instagram page, uh, there should be a link down below. Uh, like and subscribe for more. We do all sorts of videos. We, If you've just joined us, this is our some of our book reviews. We do movie stuff, we do vlogs, we do discussions. We do everything, don't we? we mm. Just to the you know, of interest of hopefully everyone. Yeah. And it's fun because it makes it more of a variety for us as well. Yeah. So. Fine. So, like and subscribe guys, and comment below, and we will see you in another video very soon. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>